Now, Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. And maybe not the best pool weather today. Pretty cool out there, and it'll be that way again tomorrow. But by the end of the week, you'll be looking for that pool, and you'll see that in the Storm Team 2 seven-day forecast. This evening, we'll back it off into the 60s, down to the mid-60s by 11 p.m. And we'll have partly cloudy skies, although we should clear out after midnight. And then start the day off tomorrow with sunshine, 62 at 8, 73 at noon, and 80 degrees at 5 p.m. with partly to mostly sunny skies, mostly sunny in the morning, partly cloudy in the afternoon. Isolated evening showers tonight in our weather headlines. They are very spotty, very light, and they're going to be gone in the next hour or two. We're looking at nice weather Tuesday, then a slow warming trend along with increasing humidity. And by the end of the week, 90s are going to be back. Also, Saturday, that will be the summer solstice, which happens on the 20th this year, and that'll be Saturday, June 20th, 544 in the afternoon. We'll reach our maximum amount of daylight hours and 24 hours of sunshine as you go north of the Arctic Circle. And uh, hot weather, as I mentioned, pool weather by then, too. 75 our high today, 52 our low temperature this morning. We were just 5 degrees off the record low of 47. And tonight, dipping down the mid to upper 50s here over the southern part of the Miami Valley and the northern part of our region into the mid 50s. About 56 in Troy and Greenville, 55 in Springfield, Urbana, over to Sydney, Salina, and Bell Fountain. High temperatures tomorrow should be right around that 80 degree mark over much of the area and then we'll also continue with the low humidity so that'll be a comfortable 80 and maybe a smidgen more humidity on Wednesday but still not bad as we make it to the low to mid 80s. Dew point values when they're below 60 that's generally a comfortable reading. Upper 40s low 50s expected tonight and about the same through the day tomorrow but finally maybe a little bit more of that dark green showing up south of us and that'll start to move up our way toward the end of the week. We've been watching the clouds actually clear out a little bit moving from uh, east to west, once again, an unusual direction, but we have an upper level low cut off south of us. And occasionally we've seen a few showers drift into the eastern part of the viewing area with those clouds, but right now not much happening out there. We had some light showers earlier around Champaign County and now it looks like most of the area dry. A shower just to the east of our viewing area again, and if it holds together over the next hour or so, maybe it'll bring a few more raindrops to Champaign Clark counties. But otherwise, high pressure up over the eastern Great Lakes, pretty quiet weather pattern for us. Right now in Dayton, we have a temperature reading of 75, east wind at 8 miles per hour. Our weather checkers tonight in the 70s, Jeff Cador up in Bell Center at 75, Jason Thompson in Brookville. 74 degrees on our future track forecast map. We'll see those skies clear out later tonight and back to sunshine tomorrow morning. Once again, a few fair weather clouds around as we get to tomorrow afternoon. Tonight, look for a slight chance of an isolated evening shower, otherwise clearing and cool overnight low 57 and mostly sunny skies tomorrow morning. Partly sunny in the afternoon, up around 80, 68 at 10, 73 noon and finally hitting that 80 degree mark around 4 or 5 o'clock. And then upper 50s Wednesday morning, high 83, mostly sunny, more humidity Thursday and Friday, slight chance of an afternoon or evening shower.